Free speech must be free. Hi neighbors, my name is Peter Boykin and I am running to be your next Lieutenant Governor. Please check out my website at peterboykin.com Thank you for going right with Peter Boykin. Hi neighbors, my name is Peter Boykin and I am running to be your next Lieutenant Governor of North Carolina. You you can check out my website at peterboykin.com to find more information about my platform and find more speeches such as this one. Free speech must be free. In the tapestry of an American Republic, the First Amendment stands as a fundamental thread weaving through the very fabric of our freedoms. It grants us the sacred right to speak our minds, to express our thoughts and beliefs without fear of censorship. It is the guardian of our collective voice, a shield against oppression, and a beacon of liberty that guides our nation. Yet as we bask in the glow of this constitutional right, we must also scrutinize the state of justice in our great republic. The principle of, quote, innocent until proven guilty is a cornerstone, a principle that safeguards the rights of individuals against unjust accusations. It is this presumption that one is free from guilt until the burden of proof is met ensuring a fair and impartial legal process. However, the modern landscape of justice has become a complex mosaic where the right to defend oneself is sometimes shrouded in uncertainty. A troubling manifestation of this is the imposition of gag orders that silence individuals accused of crimes. How can justice prevail when those accused, especially those in the public eye, like former President Trump, are restrained from defending themselves? In what reality is it acceptable for individuals to be denied the right to speak about the accusations levied against them, while the media and the court of public opinion carry on uninhibited? It becomes imperative that the accused can mount a defense, especially when high-profile cases become fodder for public speculation and judgment. The erosion of impartiality within the court system adds another layer of concern. When judges openly declare their partisanship, injecting personal feelings and opinions into the proceedings, the scales of justice tip perilously. Take, for instance, the case of Trump and the J6 trial, where a judge with a known perchant for handing down severe sentences sits at the helm. When sentences surpass even the prosecution's requests, it raises serious questions about the fairness of the legal process. In the face of such challenges, the very foundation of justice appears to be trembling. The fear that our courts and legal institutions may transform into political pawns, serving the whims of those in power rather than upholding the principles of fairness and equality before the law. As I throw my hat into the ring for the position of Lieutenant Governor of North Carolina, I carry with me a staunch defense of our constitutional rights. I pledge to use my possession to advocate for a fair and impartial legal system in our state. Justice must not be a pawn in the political chessboard. It should be blind, unwavering, and accessible to all. Let us strive to ensure that our republic, 
does not devolve into a mere echo of justice, but rather stands as a beacon of fairness and equity for all its citizens. All votes matter. More than ever before in the election of 2024, all votes do matter. Please check out peterboykin.com for more information. They say the opposite. Disinformation, misinformation, they're very good at it. They'll say, we really want to run against Trump because that's who they're running against. We really want to run against Trump, but they don't. And the way I look at it, we beat them twice. Now we have to beat them a third time. We beat them. We beat the hell out of them the second time. Think of it. Think of it. Think of it. We did much better the second time than we did the first. Remember that. And they're getting beaten very badly by me in the polls. Uh, They think the only way they can catch me is to stop me from speaking. They want to take away my voice. And a judge uh, gave a gag order today. Did you hear that on speech? Which I believe is totally unconstitutional what she did. A judge gave a gag order. A judge doesn't like me too much. Her whole life is not liking me. But uh, she gave a gag order. You know what a gag order is? You can't speak badly about your opponent. But this is weaponry all being done because Joe Biden is losing the election and losing very, very badly to all of us in the polls. He's losing badly. But what they don't understand is that I am willing to go to jail if that's what it takes for our country to win and become a democracy again.